Hello YouTube! Now if you spend any time tinkering with or indeed repairing electronic appliances you probably have a multimeter. This isn't a multimeter. This is the Crompton Parkinson All Test. It's your multimeter's grandfather. Now the basic design seems to date from the mid to late 1930s. I have found evidence of the internet of adverts from around that period. And it's a rather clever piece of engineering. The basic test meter can have resistance bobbins added to measure DC voltage, shunts fitted to measure DC amp draw, and this rather marvellous I'll see if I can and this rather marvellous device, which I'm trying to hold at an angle so you can read the lettering, which allows it to measure AC voltage. We're not going to try that today because I don't have a suitable safe AC power supply. I have tested it in the past on a 16 volt one and it did work. We're going to use instead to use this simple 9 volt battery for our test. Now of the three meters I have, this is the best calibrated. None of them have been touched by hand of professional for many years. I rescued them from the scrap pile at the office. The lab at the office, more effectively. So I'm going to use this resistance bobbin, which is intended to measure up to 15 volts DC. And we start by removing this knurled thumb nut from the top and screwing our resistance bobbin onto here. We then take our test lead. You can see at this point why the all, the integrated all-in-one multimeter became rather took over from these. And we will do the same with the negative lead at the base. Now, we take our battery. We take our cables. I shall hold the meter at an angle where you can read the display and... It's measuring a little tad over 9 volts, which is about right, to be fair. Now, the only other thing I can demonstrate is measuring DC amperage with it, DC current draw. So, rather than dismantle this, we'll just take the test leads off. It will be much faster that way. The same drill applies with the shunts for measuring current as with the bobbins measuring voltage. You select the one with the most useful range printed on it. In this case we're going to use the one and a half amp one and as it says you it even gives you instructions on how to scale the meter reading because obviously the scale does not change. In this case five is equivalent to a one amp, ten is equivalent to two amp, fifteen is equivalent to three amps which is pretty simple. We So therefore we will slot our shunt in like so using these inner thumb nuts to lock it in place. It is a little fiddly but uh, I think these were intended for industries where you would set this up at the beginning of the working day and then basically leave it set up as an ammeter, voltmeter or whatever. Those locked in place we will attach a crocodile clip to there. And I shall move you across to our test load. It's a standard G scale model railway engine. Fairly low current draw despite the size of the thing. This is the one that they include in all the starter sets, and I would strongly recommend it if you have any interest in that direction. So we will prop our test meter up like so, so you can read it. We will connect our battery to the socket on the back of the locomotive. Connect this to our battery clip. Any electricians look away now because I'm well aware, but this is very low voltage. We should be safe enough. Just pop that cable out of the way. And if I touch the the wire to the there we go. That appears to be measuring a little shade over half an amp, which is probably about right. So, there's Parkinson's all test. 
if you found one of these in your granddad's attic or in a cupboard at work as I did and you're rescuing it from the skip, well again as I did, hopefully this video will be useful to you. I'm well aware that an awful lot of them don't have manuals anymore and that mine is unusual in having the manual, as seen here. This is a rather wonderful booklet. I'm frankly amazed that it has survived this long in perfectly legible condition. There were other components for the series, some of which I have. I will, I, for example, I have a universal indicator or two around the place. I shall make a video featuring those at another date, rather than extend this one. And there were giant versions of the meters as well, which I don't have, but I'm keeping my eyes out for. I hope you've enjoyed this. Goodbye. <laughs>